those of you with small children may well have come across Fingerlings toys, but for those who haven't, they were a the hugely successful toy introduced into the USA and Canada in 2017 and in Europe in 2018. And they're the best selling children's toy in the US at Christmas 2017. Fingerlings are small toys which fit on the finger and respond to sound and touch. Fingerlings were developed by Wowie Corporation, a Hong Kong based company with a history of introducing successful and innovative children's toys. The success of the product brought with it an anticipated wave of counterfeit products. And we worked with our colleagues at Epstein Drangle and UK Trading Standards to deal with a counterfeit problem in the United Kingdom. The success of the product brought with it a predictable wave of counterfeit products. And we worked with our colleagues at Epstein Drangle in the US and UK Trading Standards to deal with that problem in the UK. For trading standards, we provided them with up-to-date product information to ensure they could easily identify counterfeit products. We worked closely with them and responded promptly to their queries, providing declarations where requested, and we cooperated with them in the seizure of thousands of goods, and in some cases, the criminal prosecution of those handling the counterfeit articles. The wave of counterfeit products was predictable, but what was less expected was a large number of EU registered design applications filed by Chinese companies for identical or near identical products to our clients' fingerling toys. All of these registered designs were cancelled when we referred the EU IPO to Wowie's earlier rights. But the question rose as to why those applications were being filed. The Chinese applicants were plainly incurring cost and none of the cancellation actions were defended. We did come across one example where the Chinese infringer attempted to legitimize their product by referring to their EU registered design application. But this was easily dealt with by referring the EU IPO and trading standards to Wowie's earlier rights. The main reason why we think these applications were filed was to take advantage of Chinese government subsidies, which were set at a municipal and provincial level. The EU registered design system is ideal for this as it provides a quick an easy way to obtain a granted right, and the subsidies are provided for obtaining overseas patent and registered design applications. This highlights one of the flaws in the EU registered design system, which is that in the interests of a quick and easy grant, there is no substantive examination. So no assumptions can be made regarding the validity of the designs, even once they're registered. We were delighted to work with Wowie and Epstein Drangle in this project, and we provided our services in relation to the UK trading standard seizures on a low fixed fee basis. And we were able to provide very cost effective services in relation to the cancellation actions. If you have similar issues you'd like us to help with, or any other intellectual property related queries, please let us know.